What about all of the Russian interference in the 2016 election? And then the setup in terms of having Russians go and call Donald Trump Jr., set up this meeting. I mean, they've just been all over it. So, so Vladimir Putin is, is determined to wreck the world, and he's doing everything possible. It's not just in the United States. So, so yes, the Russians have been all over the U.S. elections, and they'll be all over the next U.S. elections, and they're all over Brexit. And they're well, all they've been doing this for decades. I mean, I remember when I first went to Russia 15 years ago, I was told, don't bring your BlackBerry. As soon as you get into Russian airspace, they have access to all of your stuff. I actually didn't as a result, because they spy on foreigners. They spy on, on foreigners. They spy on themselves. And and we're, we're living in this world of technology now where, where um, nobody kind of knows where it stops and where it starts and who's got access to what. Right. And so, and, and, and th th that's their perfect world. So they could never stand up to us militarily. The, 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 the uh, Russian defense budget is 90% less than the U.S. defense budget. Their economy is the size of the economy of the state of New York. And so all they can do is all this sort of behind the scenes cheating within like, you know, the, the, the ether of, of the internet and so on where nobody really knows who's there, the plausible deniability. But this is where they operate. They operate th this way. And and, and it's cheap for them to do it. It doesn't cost them a lot of money for them to be out there making trouble for everybody. Why is Germany paying Russia for this energy pipeline? The president has been bringing this up in terms of uh, NATO and the situation that, you know, they're not paying their fair share in terms of defense spending in NATO, and yet Germany is giving all this billions of dollars to, to Russia for the energy. Well, it, it, it's, it's even worse than that. So, so there is a pipeline for out of Russia that goes through Ukraine and various other countries to Europe where people need Russian gas. They've got Russian gas. And the Russians said, you know what? Why don't we build a second pipeline? Let's build it straight to Germany instead of these other countries that cause us problems. And, and strangely and, and, and inexplicably, inexplicably and stupidly, the Germans said, yeah, let's have this pipeline. And so this pipeline goes into Germany. And what does it do? It makes the Germans more dependent on Russian gas. And so what's, what's going to happen the next time Russia invades another country? Um, everyone's going to be up in arms, and we, we should do something about the Russians, and the Germans are going to raise their hand and say, we can't do that because we're dependent on Russian gas. They'll turn off the spigot. It's, it's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. And, and, and interestingly, the Germans don't seem to get it. Yeah, I, I asked the NATO general secretary about it. Why isn't Germany buying energy from the United States, now the largest producer in the world? Or anybody else. Or anybody else. Anybody yeah. else, but not the Russians. How do you want to see President Trump deal with this? He should be tough as hell. On, these, on Putin and on Russia. He should absolutely, the only way that we're gonna deal with Putin is not by engaging with him, it's by containing him. We're, he's a, in the old days, in the Soviet days, there was a containment strategy to contain communism from spreading. We now have a, a world where Putin is not a communist, he's a criminal. He's a mafia boss, and we have to contain the criminality of what he's up to. Do you think he'll ever be held accountable? Putin? Um, everybody ultimately pays the price for what they do, and uh, and, I'm, and I'm sure one day it's all going to come terribly badly for Vladimir Putin. You must be, I mean, you, you've got to be afraid just walking around. I mean, you are an enemy of Russia, and they know you're out and about talking about Putin, you know, un unveiling their, their secrets and some of their wrongdoings. Yeah. How do you do that? How do you live that way? Well, first of all, I don't live in fear. I do it, and I do it with my head held high. Um, Good for you, Bill. And, I, and, and I'm not going to back down. And I'm not going to back down because they murdered my lawyer, Sergei Magnitsky. They covered up his murder. And it's my duty to him, um, who died in my service, to go after these people and make sure they face justice. Tell me more about the Mueller investigation, because also Fusion GPS is also involved in all of this. And, of course, that's the firm that wrote the dossier that was used to spy on an American citizen who was part of the Trump campaign. So, so he, here's the whole, the whole irony of all, of all this stuff, is that there's, there's this guy, Glenn Simpson. Glenn Simpson is the head of Fusion GPS. In the summer of 2016, he had been hired by the Russian government um, by Natalia Veselnitskaya, the person who went to Trump Tower, um, to uh, knowingly to, to write a smear campaign report about me and then go to newspapers and politicians and knowingly lie about me um, in or, on behalf of the Russians. He did that at the same time as he was working on the Trump dossier. This is a guy who can't be trusted for anything. Wow. Bill Bradford, it's good to have you on the program. Thanks so much. Thank you.